So we're going to talk a little bit about some group riding. Um, if you want to ride with two or more of you on the track, um, typically you're going to see, you know, people riding or riding around uh, one in front of the other. And the reason we do that is called drafting. It's easier to ride behind a friend. Um, in order to do that safely on the track, because there's no brakes and we can only slow down so quickly, um, there's a few rules we need to consider. Um, Alex, do you want to tell us, you know, a few things to consider if you're going to ride behind someone on the track? Well, let me ask the group. What's, what is the most important rule on the track? Shoulder check. Shoulder check, right? So before you move up or down the track, you always have to shoulder check, left or right. Okay, if you're going to move up to the right, you shoulder check to the right. If you're going to move down the track, shoulder check to the left. Shoulder check, number one. The other thing to consider is sometimes we change lines on the track. Sometimes we want to move around someone or swing up or whatever it might be. It's really important to protect your front wheel. You're responsible for keeping it away from other things. So what that means is don't overlap wheels with the person in front of you. You can see where Alex is. If I was to swing up, if I didn't see him, I would take his front wheel out and he'd go down. We'd cause a crash. That would be dangerous. What's our final rule, Alex? What's really important when you're riding any kind of bike, never, especially on the track, is you want to look through the riders who are in front of you and look ahead. So you know, I'm not focused just on this wheel here, but I'm focused on looking ahead, where we're going to go to anticipate what's coming. We mentioned drafting. It's always good to take turns on the front. The longer you stay on the front, the more work you're doing. So it's good to, you know, let your other teammates, let your other friends do a little work too. So when we ride around in groups, usually what we're going to do is we might do a, a lap on the front and we come into the corner. We come into corner one there. The person on the front is going to push on the pedals, ride up into the corner and then let the group pass underneath them. It's really common um, when you're riding on the front to not stay fully on the pedals. You think, oh, I'm done. My work is done. I get to, you know, get to relax now and you ease up and that can cause the people behind you to kind of run into the back of you, which you don't want. Um, so I always like to think of it as your turn on the front isn't over until you've joined the back again. So you ride into the corner firm, push up the track, and then when the group comes underneath and you see that last wheel, push back down the track and slot into place. So keep pedal pressure going all the time up, pedal pressure all the way down until you're back on the wheel.